Meadow Vale Cemetery in Brampton. I haven't just come here to have a wander around like I normally do with cemeteries. I've come to, to see a particular grave. And that's a grave of Malcolm Xerxes. He was a actor, stuntman, producer. At this point, I inexplicably lose my audio, so voiceover it is. Malcolm Xerxes. He was born at January 31st, 1965, and he was brought up in Salford, Lancashire, in England, before he moved to Canada. His real name, Ian Anthony Malcolm, and he was indeed an actor and stuntman. He acted in a couple of episodes of Slings and Arrows, which was a TV series that ran between 2003 and 2006. He played a jazz band leader in the film Perfect Strangers with Rob Lowe and Anna Friel in 2004. He was a technician in the Cypher movie in 2002, When the Bullet Hits the Bone in 1996, and he also played Owen Tell in five episodes of La Femme Nikita between 98 and 2001. He played an undead in Resident Evil Apocalypse in 2004, which incidentally was filmed in Toronto. He's done a few commercials in his time, including Burger King in the UK and Shoppers Drug Mart in Canada. He's credited for stunts on shows such as Relic Hunter and La Femme Nikita. From what I can gather, he wasn't a massively well-known actor, but he has a large number of credits to his name. And as I understand it, he was also a huge fan of sci-fi and horror and took an active part in a number of online message boards and many co fan conventions. That's where I found out quite a bit about him, to be fair, on some of those message boards. His grave is around here somewhere. It's alleged that Malcolm was being sought by police as a suspect in the shooting of his girlfriend. She may have been his ex-girlfriend. This apparently happened in September 12, 2005. The day after the shooting, so it would have been September 13, 2005, it's reported that at 4.10pm, Malcolm was on the pier at Port Credit Harbour where he fatally shot himself. He then fell into the water. The lady he is alleged to have shot did survive. She survived despite being shot three times, but she did lose her sight. There was a memorial held for Malcolm September 24th, and his funeral took place October 22nd. And it's around here somewhere. Probably just walked past it. There he is. Ian Anthony Malcolm. Xerxes, January 31st, 1965, September 13th, 2005. Never forgotten by mum, dad, sisters, brother, family, friends, and fellow actors. Malcolm Xerxes. How did it go so wrong, Malcolm? So sad, so tragic. I mean, I'm not here to talk about the rights and wrongs of what he did. I'm just here because the story interested me and I wanted to visit Malcolm or his grave. I actually can't find out too much about what happened. Thankfully, the victim, his victim, I don't know her name, she survived. But as I've said, she did lose her sight, which is incredibly sad. <laughs>